Hi everybody! So today's makeup tutorial is all about healthy, glowing, radiant skin. It's about glowing from within and being beautiful, healthy, and sun-kissed. This look is perfect for just about any occasion that you could really think of. And if you enjoy the video, please remember to like it with a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this from me, please remember to subscribe below. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so you want to start off with a fresh, clean, moisturized face. And don't forget to pull your hair back. Now you want to prime. I'm using a Rimmel Primer here. Now going in with concealer, I'm going to conceal in a triangle starting from my nose and working outwards with the point of that triangle starting at the inner corner of the eye. I just find that this concealing technique looks a little bit more natural than putting concealer straight under the eye area. You also want to go ahead and conceal any blemishes that you may have on your face. Now I'm going to blend it out with a sponge. go in with liquid foundation. I'm using Revlon Color Stay, but you can use any foundation that you like, be it liquid or powder. Now I'm dotting it onto my face with my fake <laughs> Beauty Blender sponge. With the Beauty Blender or the knockoff Beauty Blenders, you want to make sure that this sponge is moist or dampened because it's going to give you the better finish that you want. And using Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, I am going to powder down my T-zone. This is a crucial step for summer. You want to make sure that you control that oiliness and keep your face looking fresh all day. Using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit, I'm going to go in and fill my eyebrows. I just think that this helps frame the face and it gives the look a really natural, beautiful finish. And then going in with the brown powder that comes with it, I'm going to set my brows. This also helps add dimension, keeping the look very natural. Now with my e.l.f. Golden Bronzer, I'm sweeping an angled brush through all the colors, and I'm going to work the color in under my cheekbone. This helps slim the face. You're also going to want to bring the bronzer up to the temple area. And if you want, you can also bring the bronzer under the jawline just to help create more of a slimming profile. If you do put bronzer under the jawline, don't forget to pull some down your neck as well. It's just going to help keep everything looking very natural and so you don't have one colored face and one colored neck. Now I'm going in with a very pink, you can also use red blush and in a C motion, I'm just going to dot it along this area. This is creating the glow from within, the redness that happens when the sun hits your face. Now using a very golden peachy blush, this one's from e.l.f. as well, you're going to follow that C shape again, but you can be a little bit more heavy handed with this as well. Now going in with Steela Kitten as a highlighter, you're going to create a smaller C shape following your brow bone and your cheekbone. Using the Naked Palette, I'm going to go in with the color Sin. And I'm going to use this to cover my entire eyelid area. Don't forget to work it into the inner corner of the eye. I think these champagne -y shimmery colors are just really perfect for summer. And then also don't forget to get it into the inner quarter of the eye as well. It's going to help open up the eye area. Now going in with the color Naked, I'm going to work it into my crease area. And then I'm going to use the color Buck, which is a darker taupe brown, and I'm going to work it again over that crease area. We're creating a gradient effect. And then with a big 
fluffy brush, I'm going to use the color Smog from the Naked Palette, which is a bronzy, goldeny brown, and I'm going to sweep it over the crease as well. Using a big blending brush, you're going to want to blend all of those colors together. Don't be afraid to take your time blending the colors together. It's going to create a more beautiful effect if you take your time and really blend it out. Now we're going to use a black gel eyeliner. This one's from NYX. And with an angled brush, we're going to line the upper lash line. Now, I know that liquid liner or gel liner can be really difficult, especially if it's something that you haven't really tried. But honestly, you have to practice, practice, practice to get the hang of it. What I would say is start from the outer corner of the eye and work your way in. That way you'll have a little bit more control over the line. And then you can always go back and correct anything that you don't quite like. There we go. Looks good. So using Rimmel Glam Eyes, this is my new favorite mascara. I'm going to go in and do my lower lashes first. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite eyelash curler. This one's from Revlon. And curl your lashes. What I really like about the Glam Eyes Mascara is it really holds a curl throughout the entire day. And once you've curled your lashes, go and give a generous coat of black mascara. I'm going to finish off with some pink lip gloss. This one is bubblegum flavored and it's from Philosophy. It smells so good. I decided to go back with some highlighter over my cupid's bow and the top of my nose just to help give a little bit more glow to the face. And so that's it. The look is complete. You can take down your hair. I decided to wave mine. I felt that it looked really beachy. And this look is perfect for every day. It looks healthy, glowy, and sun-kissed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, and if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.